boys and girls. Again today in the art room, we're going to learn about monochrome. Monochrome is tints and shades of the one same colour. So for example, let's have a look at our colour wheel. On a colour wheel, we have our bold colours, our primary, secondary and tertiary colours. Tertiary is when you mix primary and secondary colours together. These are on the outside of our colour wheel. Working your way inside is when we add different tints, whether it is white or whether it is black. So today we're using blue paint, white paint, black paint. I have a palette, it could be an ice cream lid or a spare um, dirty plate. Plastic plates are really good for washing up. I have masking tape. I have one blank piece of paper. Now, I've got three brushes, but you can use one and wash it in between. But I've chosen to use three today. So I've got lots of washing up to do. So step one, you're gonna mask off your page. So using masking tape, you're gonna add diagonal lines and vertical lines to your page. So diagonal. This is going to create, create lots of different triangles. It'll add more dimension to your page. It's even better if you stick your page down to the table so it doesn't move in the process. It actually makes it much easier to paint your picture. Once you're finished, you should be left with something that looks geometric. So lots of different shapes on the one same page. It should look something like this. What we're going to do is we're going to mix our tints and our shades. Today I'm using blue. You're welcome to use any colour. The darker colours, primary colours, tend to be a little easier. So blues and reds. If you like your pinks, remember white and red make pink. So that's a good choice as well. I'm going to collect a little bit of my blue and we're going to mix it with some of our white. This is going to tint it lighter. So we're starting to use the words lighter and darker. So we've made a light blue. If I'm to tint my blue paint with black, I'm going to create a tint that is darker. So you only need a little bit of black to make your colour darker. If you add too much black, sometimes it makes it look a bit murky and yucky. So I have our dark blue. Blue, dark blue, and our light blue. And now I start to paint. In each triangle, I add a different colour. So I'm going to start with my dark blue. Try not to get it on the table, but these tables at school I can always wash off. Now that I'm finished with my dark blue, if you need to use this paintbrush again, give it a good wash out. I'm going to be a bit sneaky and use another paintbrush I've already got here. Now I'm going to use my light blue. So remember, to make light blue, we add blue and white to tint it lighter. I'm going to put this in the blank pages. So I put dark blue next to some of my light blue. It's good to use masking tape. It's better than clear or duct tape because it comes off your paper more clean, cleanly. If you use other types of paint, sometimes it can rip and tear your paper when you try and take it off. So masking, masking tape is a really good choice. Try and use your brush strokes, brush strokes in the one direction. It makes your page look a little bit more cleanly. So you can go in all different directions, but your very last coat of paint, make sure it's facing the one direction. 
it makes your whole page look a little bit more smooth. Now our final paintbrush, whoops, I'm going to be sneaky and I'm going to use a third paintbrush. So lots of washing up for me to do. And I paint in any of our remaining sections. Remembering to paint in the one direction, it makes everything look a little bit more clean later on. So I've used blue, light blue and dark blue by using the colours white, black and blue. Now remember you don't have to use blue if you want to use um, red or purple or green or any other colour, you're welcome to. Now this is a monochrome page. So we've got our tints of light blue, our tints of regular blue and our tints of black or dark blue. You're welcome to use black and white as well on this page if you want more sections. Now the tricky part is try not to let this dry otherwise it's going to be harder to get your um, tape off later. So try and have a look um, and remember what order you lay them down in and carefully, very carefully, um, start taking them off in that order. Otherwise, they get a bit stuck on each other. So very carefully, start taking them off. As I said, it's really tricky and you've got to remember what order you put the tape in. Sometimes on the outside, you can write a number. One, two, three, four. So you remember what order you took them off. So that's a really good little um, tip and trick that I have that helps me out sometimes. Now remember, when you're painting, uh, use an art smock. Mine, I've broken a button here so it pops open every now and again. But an art smock, if you're doing painting at home, it's going to keep your uniform or your clothes really, really safe from getting dirty like my hands. We can always wash our hands. Uh, sometimes a little bit tricky washing our uniform. So once I've taken our tape off, I've ended up with a monochrome painting using blue, white and black. If you can try this at home, have a bit of a go. If not, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.